Um, I've been working on filling gaps in IOC SQL. So right here I have a, a query. It is not a gap filling query, but I'm just gonna, gonna run it anyway here. And we'll see what sh shows up. So this is just standard telegraph data. I ran it for a few minutes and then I stopped for a few minutes. So you can see it stops at around 38, comes back around 44. And um, there's two series here um, for CPU total and CPU zero. And so, um, so here's my data. I took the min of usage idle and the max of usage user. And um, great. So how do I make it into a gap filling query? Uh, good question. So what you do is you just add in gap fill. So instead of calling date bin to, to bin your times to the minute, you can call date bin gap fill, and then it will fill in the gaps with nulls by default. Okay, so what if you want to fill it with something else? You can call locf on your aggregate column, and then it will fill that with the last observation carried forward. So this 94.105 is carried forward through the gap until the comes back again and same thing down here. And um, there's one other way you can fill, which is um, by interpolating. And so that's this. So here you can see we start at three, we end at 23 and it just kind of fills linearly to fill the gap, to kind of smooth out that that gap there and then same thing down here so um that's gap filling